Look at the sky frequently. Acknowledge animals and plants. Celebrate whenever possible. Listen to old people's stories. Remember dreams. Resist all prejudice. Think about the universe. bang in general when she works alone or to an extent even when we work together it's pretty much like you know I, I would see her and get into a zone of of ramrod um, attack she attacks the painting like she attacks a terror a real estate you know she she renovates the whole thing she raises the land she picks picks up a bulldozer and she first repairs the surface and then she stamps the, the soil and she builds the house on top of that and it regardless of of of, uh, of anything and later she make the necessary adjustments you know the how to compose how to put the chicken coop in the back the uh, tree in the front and then she changes her mind very often just like in real life So seen in his technique and in his approach. So um, he has an enormous sensibility to find things in a piece of abstraction and to identify things, and and, and an enormous ability to define things that we might not otherwise see. And that's what's so cool about his too. For centuries, and you can talk about different philosophies, and you can talk about. We often talk about like the golden mean and the Fibonacci series as a structure that underlies our painting. But it's really that process, that Tai Chi, that dance, is really about distilling finally the final pro product, which is a balance, a, a, a painting that is compositionally and spiritually and in total balance. Quality, and the, that's why the work doesn't look like either. It looks like a third entity could be another artist. talk about the way that um, the way that we create is um, that usually we try and empty our minds of any sort of preconceived ideas so I can paint a flower I can paint a car I can paint your portrait but I don't want to have anything in my head at all I want to start from <laughs> I know you laugh at this I all love, the time I love it when you say that <laughs> you said, yeah it's uh, nothing in my head but <laughs> It's, but it, but it's if you think of if you think of like it's almost a Zen exercise to try and like get everything out of your head and just like be just do it's the most difficult thing in the world and then we choose for we choose our, I mean I start with a, a palette of colors I say how about this yellow this red put put it together let's see what happens and then suddenly you're applying paint and then over a period of time the painting starts to reveal itself. And every step leads to another step, and another step, and another step. And then suddenly you have a composition that then, and here's the cool part, that starts speaking to you about something. Here, and it's not a red, but it might need to be a dark blue to speak to that here. And I can point them out and I can tell you exactly what kind of music I was listening to, what we were talking about, the stories that were going through um, through our riff, the people who had walked in. Every painting is so much influenced by our mind. A painting has a language of its own 
and uh, it can be deciphered in different ways by different people. create a mess, you know, and then you sat back and then look and then you sponge again, spatula, brush. And, then, and that's where you get to the point where you really do, as Gid had mentioned the Sanskrit, um, thinking that, you know, the paintings, it's sort of you become the vessel of the painting. You really do look back at a painting, take a step away and you say, wow, how did I do that? How did I really create that? And what that it come to be and then the coolest thing the absolute coolest thing and we often say that is that then the painting is never finished until it has a viewer the German philosophical term the Dasein of being there the, 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 the being at the, at the spot being at the moment which is a continuum because time is, is irrelevant time is a construct an anthropomorphic construct. The painting, the painting is existing in time and it's transforming itself in time just like a song is transforming itself.